Mike, when you're in a, a battle for a, a roster spot, how satisfying is having a, a day like yesterday, a couple of hits and, and a couple of walks? Um, I think no matter what, you feel pretty good after a day like that. Um, you know, um, been feeling better at the plate, and it was nice to get a handful of bats off left-handed pitching. Um, you know, you don't always... It doesn't always line up <clears throat> in spring training, but uh, I like hitting off lefties. I feel like it does some good things uh, for my swing. So it was nice to have, uh, you know, four at bats versus some uh, high-level left-handed pitching. So I was just I was just happy with that and uh, happy with my swing decisions yesterday. And um, yeah, yesterday was a good day, and you know, today's a work day. So. And Mike, in terms of your you know mental approach right now, are you with the uncertainty surrounding your roster spot? Is there nerves in that? Are you? Is there excitement? You know, you know, you're still competing. I mean, how, how do you how do you look at this final week before they make a, a roster to serve it? This, uh, excuse me, determination on on you. Um, I don't think about that, really. Um, you know, today uh, I'm not playing the game, so have an opportunity to get a little bit of extra work in. Um, just, you know, keep keep my um, routine going, keep my body feeling good. Um, I've been really happy with that. So, um, you know, just looking to, you know, tighten those things up and really start to, uh, you know, um, get a little more length out of the games I play in and, um, you know, get ready for April 1st. Um, Mike, is this one of those strange springs where it, you really are result conscious, uh, maybe more than in, in previous uh, exhibition seasons? No, um, I think uh, historically, I mean, I, I think I think the um, it's pretty much widely agreed upon that uh, the the actual results of spring don't have that big of a bearing on um, the success of your season. Uh, I feel like I'm having a pretty good spring, um, but the only, I mean, in my in my like six major league spring trainings now, I think the only other time I hit above 300, I started out the regular season 0 for 19. So um, to me, it's, it's more about a progression of this is what I want to do early, this is what I want to do early, and then just come in each day with a plan, whether it's a game day or a work day, and then executing uh, that plan, and then being able to evaluate how the day went, make the necessary adjustments, and then yes, now it becomes a little bit more like, hey, like you know, we're early on. I just want to get my swing off. I want to be really aggressive. And now it's you know, I had a day in Sarasota on Saturday where I, I felt like maybe for the first time this spring I wasn't getting a lot of pitches to hit but I was still in that super aggressive mode and it was like, okay, well, hey, it's time to lock back in on the strike zone because as the season gets closer, you know, that's one of the biggest determinants of your success is your ability to stay in the strike zone. So, um, you know, take, I don't want to say make it more game-like, but um, kind of just tighten your approach, tighten your focus, and um, I'll try to continue that um, with whatever remaining games that I'm, that I'm playing. Hey, Mike, just following up a little bit on Eric Boland's question to your response to that and, and you saying you don't really think about uh, the roster and the situation uh, about making the roster. How do you not think about that? And do you feel as though you've shown enough to make this team this year? Um, I don't have any say in that. So um, I've, <clears throat> I've personally been happy. Um, with uh, my level of at-bat. I've been happy with the way I've played the outfield, and I've been happy with how my body's felt. I think that I'm in a position to play at a high level in the major leagues this year, and to me that's much more of a priority than worrying about what people way above my pay grade are going to do. So... I'm I'm focused on playing baseball. I'm focused on today, and that's really as far in the future as I'm looking.
And how do you get yourself in that aggressive mode you spoke about at the plate where you're you're ready to go all the time? I mean, you just can't be afraid of failure, you know? Um, I think that, um, you know, the level, I think we, so we've seen it in the spring. Like, I mean, obviously, yesterday was a little bit of a longer game, but Saturday in Sarasota, we played a two-hour, 15-minute, nine-inning game. And that speaks to the high level of pitching that I think has been – it's higher than ever, um, and the stuff guys are showing is better than ever. So it's that much more important for you, for the, the individual hitter, to lock in on what he's trying to accomplish at the plate and have an idea of the pitches that he wants to swing at and not want to swing at. Um, so I think a lot of that is preparation uh, before the at-bat, and then a lot of that is um, – being able to remain relaxed and, you know, focused but not tight in the batter's box.